Hey everybody, Rachel here from Curly Quilts. Uh, today I thought I would um, set up the camera uh, with everything that's going on right now with the quarantine and everything like that. Uh, if you're anything like me, you've been kind of stuck in your sewing room making some fabric masks, possibly something like this. Um, if you still have elastic, you've probably been making the really simple ones that have elastic that go over the ears. Uh, today I'm going to be doing some batch sewing, so I mean I'm going to be sewing a bunch of items at once. But instead of the fabric face masks, today I am making what's called a bouffant style um, nurse's cap. And the reason I'm making these is because I have a cousin who is a delivery nurse, and she actually asked if I could sew something up like this. Um, basically, it goes over your head. It sits. This sits in the back to kind of enclose all your hair. Um, you've probably seen them in a sort of gauzy blue color. Um, they're usually made with elastic, and so since there's an elastic shortage, I had to find a pattern that used um, fabric ties. I did find one on YouTube. Her, um, her YouTube channel is called So Jacked Up. Um, she has a free printable pattern on her video, and I'll make sure to um, add the link down in the description box below. Um, and so this is her pattern. She had the first video um, of one that didn't require a require any elastic however it was the shape that my cousin was looking for because like I said she's a delivery nurse and so I just wanted to set up the camera um, and show you guys how I I get set up basically for batch sewing since I'm going to be making quite a few of these caps um, I'm going to set myself up for success so the first thing I'm going to do is wind a bunch of bobbins on my singer because there's going to be certain parts that I'm going to sew on this machine and then I'm going to set up my Janome next because uh, there's other parts that I'm going to be sewing on that one and that way um, using both of my sewing machines when I do batch sewing allows me to get as much done as possible without having to constantly change threads or change stitches and, or change any settings like that. So let me go ahead and uh, wind some bobbins. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, I'm using a large cone of thread like this, and I have it all the way down in a jar on the floor, and then I set it up to wind bobbins. And so because I don't have an external thread stand, I can't use this cone on my machines, so I'm winding twice as many bobbins. So I use a bobbin up here for the needle, and then obviously I need a bobbin for the actual bobbin case. So if you guys were wondering, I'm using a big cone, but it's a, a white-colored cotton thread.
Alrighty guys, so we have a whole box of 18 bobbins all filled and ready to go. I already have one in my bobbin case and one bobbin partially left over for the top. Uh, next what I'm going to do is clean out, clean out the machine and oil it because I've been sewing a lot of fabric masks on it this last week and so I just want to get it clean and ready to go. I'm going to fast forward this next part as well, um, So, but if you want to see a more detailed video on how to clean and oil your machine or even a video on how to wind your bobbin, uh, check out the description box below. There's going to be a couple of links to videos that I have that go in more depth on how to wind your bobbin and all that kind of stuff on your vintage machine. Alrighty, so I'm going to move around and uh, get everything cleaned out. Alright guys, next up I'm going to be doing some ironing, I'm going to iron some of the um, fabric for the, the caps themselves and then also since I am making them out of fabric ties instead of like with elastic, what I did was I bought a bunch of Kona pre-cut strip rolls and all I'm going to be doing is um, ironing those basically into bias tape. So here it goes.
take home. Alrighty guys, so I have my four fabric strips for the bouffant um, nurse caps that I'm making. I only cut enough fabric for four to start off with. Um, obviously I have plenty more strips cut and ready to go, so when I need to make more I will. Uh, but normally this is how I would batch shows, batch. So I'd cut the fabric first, I would prep my fabric strips, and then I would just set up my sewing machine and sew away. So let me go ahead and move the camera.
guys, uh, well, I finished all four of the bouffant style scrub caps. So that's all I'm going to film for tonight, but I have quite a few more to make. So thanks for joining me. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Bye.